Okay, we are back with one more life rolling. This time, I'm gonna be showing you guys a ton of details. But before, let me introduce who this guy is. This is Ian. He is 56 years old. Uh, he came from knee surgery, but I boost his confidence and he's doing amazing. We train every week and his game coming a long way. So check it out, stick it to the end. There's a ton of details for you guys. So I jump right into guard, like passing the guard. He stopped my arm right away with his elbows on the mat and he's trying to recover guard, but I keep shutting down my hands on his knees. He could not close guard. Immediately I'm gonna move into his head, but he realizes that he blocks my biceps right there. And then he got a knee shield, and then he gonna try pummeling. I gained the pummeling, and he knows that I wanted to try shut him down. So, and then eventually he got you down the hook deep on me, right? So, moving into the middle a little bit, he has my body control and elbows on the mat. So keep in mind right here, Ian's gonna try to come up no matter what, look, he could not come up, right? Because he didn't change the hooks. He realizes, so he let go of my hands and pulls the elbow on the mat. Really good job. And then he shuffle, he came on his knees and now he's in a dogfight position. Now he'll be able to get his position right there, but he could not finish the sweep. So I kept holding my hand on his belt. He immediately realized that, holds my bottom shoulder really like this detail I showed him this detail a couple weeks ago and he's using all the time so now he's gonna do like a shoulder bump putting pressure on me and push me forward force me to let go the belt now he goes for the seat belt but immediately I sat down so he fall down and he kept the space and I came up to try pass his guard and he uses his left hands on my arm to keep my arm away from his collar right there. And then he come up on the elbow and then he'll be able to recover guard from there. And then he tried to lock me in. So Ian's a very strong guard, very strong grips. It's like 50 years old, 55, 56 years old, excuse me. But you cannot miss with, you cannot mess with him. So it's a very good way to, to, to explore train with your students that's the best way for them to get better faster so i think anybody there can do it so he has the overhook on me right here and he's trying to get the collar choke right there to to use the fist to get me into like a a very uh, uh i don't even know how to call this choke but i do all the time since a white belt so he gave up my arm and he's trying to go for the collar choke right there and then he realized that I kept pushing, breaking the grips, and he has my collar grip right there. He set me up right here really good. He went for a cross grip, and that type of position he has for umber, right? But I kept push it up, and then he immediately sit up and do one of my favorite sweeps, the hip bump sweep using my arm, and that was amazing. I could not bring him down, so he got me good in this one but I kept bridging, bridging, bridging. I know he wants to push me down. When I set my shoulder down, my left shoulder that's popping up right there, and then I know that he really wants, and then I bridge him to the other way. So I got him back. So I bridge into, so I set him up, pushing, pushing, and then he pushed back down. So we end up right there. So in a close guard, once again, he has that annoying overhook on my arm. He wants that choke so bad. So I kept fighting, keeping his hands away from my collar because when the choke comes in, it comes faster. So I'll be able to free my arm, keep him down, breaking the grips. So he used the collar grip to break my posture down. So he has a full control breaking my posture up right here. So uh, uh, thank you for sticking around, guys. And thank you for watching, thank you for all the support. Uh, make sure to subscribe. I know it's very annoying to ask him for subscribe, but that's the way we grow here, right? So keep eyes on him. Now he came to the high guard. He trying to break my posture up and set up a umbar right there. But once again, most important thing is for umbar, he need to control my posture up. So he break my posture down by the collar and then he used the right hand foot over my body and he passed the leg, but that was like a, a tiny space my elbow was out and I shake 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 and then he could not get the arm bar but he was smart immediately he went for the arm plus sit up that was awesome we've been working on that transition all the time if you want attack fail quick transition to the following one 
and then he'll be able to flatten me down. I came up and then he put me down and then he got the omoplatus with the submission. That was awesome, yeah. So we shake hands again, we reset the rolling. So I'm not giving the grip that he wants, I'm not giving the grip that he wants. And then he's sneaky, he grabbed his right hand with my collar and I thought he was gonna pull guard, but he went for the collar drag and he came up right away. He should control the seat belt first, but he went right over with the hooks. And then, man, this guy surprised me so bad. He went for the umbo right there. I thought he went for my back, and then, like, look like he's looking 18 years old. Come down, Ian. Amazing, amazing. I'm super proud for, uh, uh, to guide him through his jiu-jitsu, man. He came in a long way, especially after the knee surgery. He got the umbo right there. I could not escape. Awesome job, Ian. Keep it up. And then we set the roll. Say, no, I'm not going to get to that collar drag again. So I tried to hop over, tried to hop over, and Ian Smart, good framing. So I teach Ian how to use a lot of frames because I don't want them to get smashed. So he used a lot of hands, and then he immediately holds my arm and come up for this, the, the half guard again. So he wanted to come up. I'm trying to break his base, uh, take his post down and keep him down. But he look, he switched base really well and came up on a half guard dog fight and swept me right here. He didn't. I, I stay on the turtle. He go for the seat belt. So this time he had a seat belt, right? So what he should do is he pull. He's trying to pull me down. He should rolling over and end up with my back right there. But he like go the seat belt, which is okay. He's still in the top position right here in a half guard. So. Ian has some limitation with the knee surgery, so that's why he started from the knees, but I'm building his confidence slowly. So now he started exploring more in the top position, bending the knee more. Amazing, amazing. I'm super happy that how uh, 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 Ian came in a long way and now he's, he's turning into a beast. So he has the half guard set up right here and then I came up, I, I tried to come up on my knees but he's super heavy. You guys have no idea how strong this guy is, man. So I kept his hands right there, and he has my collar choke. He has the hands on my collar, trying to get a choke right there. So now I try to face him, but he keep pinning me down super heavy. What Ian should do here is give up on the collar fit. Yes, so get it on the hook right there before it trapped me on the half guard. But I think he still have the half guard control. So now he should get to my head control and then start going to a quarter mount. But I still have a good position right here. So um, pinning the, the, the shoulders and the head, especially in this kind of position for Ian, should be a good option right there. He tried to bait a, a, a shallow um, Kimura right there, but I'm not letting control my arm. He's getting this illegal grip on the sleeves right there, but it's okay. So I'm keep pushing try to keep him off of me but man this guy's strong i'm telling you guys so once again this this idea of this video is to point to you what he should do and what i'm doing from bottom so you guys see the both sides of the game okay so i know you guys are expecting a lot of lasso guard so it's coming to the channel but the jiu-jitsu is not just around lasso guard so i want to show you guys everything that's possible everything that's available there okay so thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. All right. So Ian trying to get you. A, a, he's in a quarter mount like this. His knees on the mat. He's trying to trap my arm right here. He could get to the the my back from here, but I kept like I know that he wants that. He could go for Kimura trap right there. Like I think he starts setting it up right here. So he has his right arm around my arm under my arm but he let it go and then i'll be able to come up my knees and then i pull his arm and then i'll be able to reverse so now he's on bottom again and uh, i free myself for him her set guard now for he he holds my arm and then i was trying to stay low because i know he want to go for close guard like just the way he did now or he go for the half guard so all you used to do before is close guard, close guard, close guard. So I introduce him the half guard, man, works amazing. He's doing amazing with that. All I have to do is half guard now. So now he goes for that, the annoying choke again. So now he's gonna go for the cross choke. All he should do for to finish this choke right here is, look, his right hand's on my collar. 
He should push the fist right against my neck, but getting his body sideways. A lot of people slip into this choke. But anyway, he went for my overhook, the, the reverse umbar I like to call for here. And then he did not have my elbow. His arm was on each side of my elbow and they'll be able to reset. Now he has the collar grip right there and the sleeves. So he came up, he set me up. He's now learning how to set me up. And then I'm gonna go, he went for the scissor sweep right there, but he did not pull my arm or push my collar down, which I'm gonna show a breakdown right in the following uh, uh, or this video or maybe in the end. So immediately I'm gonna show in slow motion. So you guys see it. he went for this, he went for this uh, uh, scissor sweep. I came up and he jumped into the guillotine right there. I did not expect. But here's the problem, he did not put the foot on my back, which is shown in the video, he should be it. And I roll away and then I reset the position, okay? I'm gonna show you what she should do from there. And then he go for the quick transition for the seat belt and then he get interesting. He, uh, the time went over, yes, the time stopped right there. So that's what should be here. So the guillotine attack. He jumped into my neck and then his leg should be right over right there. So I went over for him and I showed you guys on the video. His foot should be right there so I wouldn't be able to roll and then he gets into the guillotine finish right there. So, and then we start, we, we do a break down a little bit on a scissor sweep. So when he, the problem he is, he left my, left my right arm on the mat. So I'll be able to turn my hip into and then reset my position. So that happens really fast. So I'll show you guys in a slow motion so you guys can see it. Don't let the arm on the mat. So I'll be able to flip my, my knee in the air and then lands on my shoulder, on my knees. So whenever he goes, he pushes, he scissors his leg. So I'll, he scissors his leg and then his right hand have to be heavy on my collar. So now I won't be able to come up, which, uh, um, which this way I cannot come up and then he gets the top position. So whenever he sees it, don't let go of my right hands. I always reset my knees on the mat, okay? Just like this, if my arm is straight up, I always gonna be able to reset. So make sure that when you go for the scissor sweep, make sure, especially in the shallow, when you seize your leg, you push your right hands into the collar. So look, I try to come up, but the arm is, the hands are heavy on my collar. Now I won't be able to come up and then you get the sweep. So we kept going into our rolling, okay? So he quick into my back, like his knee gets the collar grip, so he should set the seat belt, right? Right there. So look, now he should go, come up on your right knee to reset, to replace his hook, excuse me. And then he decided to let go of the seat belt, to go for the choke right there, but he doesn't have his, chest on my back so I kept in a very strong base on my fourth trying to peel off his hook and I didn't really mind about that choke because his weight was on the side and then he has to let go because there's too much weight on his body and then hold my collar and then give up on the choke to go up which was good he set up two points right there now he's gonna go to the clock choke but his hip was off of my hip and then he fell back my arms was in the mat and then I kept coming up, coming up. So he let go. Now he ended up like in this cross face trying to pin me down. All he should do is hug my head and pin me down. So I kept him away. I came up on my elbow once again. Now I come up in a deep uh, overhook on his body and then he'll be able to fall down and then stay. But immediately he realized and he got to a open guard where he used the foot and the bicep to keep the distance. Amazing, Ian distance management and then from there i never thought that he gonna go for the the what's coming next i'm moving back moving back and then i never thought he gonna shoot the triangle right there he locks in he changed the arm quickly you holding his shin right there awesome and then my his hand was on my arm and he hugs my leg and that the angle was over and he has really strong leg and that was really cool to see he get me on the triangle so that amazing. We kept going and then from here, he holds my sleeves, holds my sleeve, he set up a half guard. So he's not letting my hands go, okay? So until he look, he keep my hands away, I cannot break the grip and then 
immediately he used that to get a space look he pushed me away and then he let go to get the overhook amazing okay big mistake he tried to come up with our changing the hook look he gets stuck okay slow down in folks in small, small elements right there small point and now we keep better the pummeling pummeling I get the pommel and then he got deep right there. So this time, instead he gonna go for the dog fight because he has a knee shield, I introduce him the deep half guard right away. So he hugged my arm, my, my legs right there, and then he pulled me over his shoulder, changed the base right away. Now he's deep into my legs. But what I do here is I told him to secure my sleeves. If I hop over the, the head, he comes up right away. Now from here, he just connect the bottle lock and pin my hip down. Really good job, Ian. So gonna be able to uh, uh, answer the reaction, guys. Action reactions. And then he kept having, he get my collar grip and keep pushing me down. Super heavy right there. He set up, he should go for the seat belt. But I believe that he's gonna start going for the, the clock choke right there. So he should stay there and work the choke. But he really wanted that clock choke, and then I be able to reset my, my position and roll. He lost the angle. And then he's trying to go to mount, but I trapped his arm in a half guard. So what you should do is kill my bottom on the hook, pin my back flat on the mat. He kept going for the American right there. And uh, I keep bridging, keep bridging. He lost the control. He got the head, and then he passed my guard. Immediately, I start holding his hand to keep it away from my collar, come up on my elbow. This is gonna be the strongest side control you can ever do. Check it out on my channel, I have a full video about that. So I think this video is about to end, so I just wanna say thank you so much for stick around and watch that. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you, Ian, for taking your time and roll with me. So I hope you guys like this video, and please subscribe to support the channel. Big O's.